Hi, this is Daniel Roebuck and this is my take. So here, here, I, look, I wanna show you guys, this is cool, this is cool. Wait, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Look at me. See, you're seeing this old man, right? This old guy. I'm an old guy, now watch this. Look at that. See, through the magic of digital media. Put that right over here. Okay, look at that. That's my headshot from 1984. Now you're looking at an old guy, right? You see this old guy sitting here and I'm talking about acting, but I want you to think about something. When I was a kid, maybe like you, this is what I wanted to do and look at that. That's what I used to look like. This is what I look like now and guess what I've only done for 32 years? I've been an actor. I've lived every one of my dreams out. And it's not because I'm the most talented, it's not because I'm the smartest or the best looking. Obviously it's not because I'm the best looking. Why is it? because it was something I wanted to do and every decision I made, wait, hold on a second. Let's take that off because now I feel like I look too old compared to what I really like. Thank you. Why? Because every decision I made led me to this moment in time where I'm sitting here giving you advice. When other people wanted to uh, do drugs, I said no. When they wanted to drink, I said no. When they wanted to do whatever they wanted to do, I just wanted to get here to this moment. So I made every decision based on that, that I wanted to be here helping you become someone who's sitting here helping the next generation. It's a gift from whatever God you believe in to do what we do and to be able to share our this gift with other people is extraordinary. So I'm always grateful every day that I get to share my gift. I sent in my picture for this movie to play a teenager, I was 20 years old, and uh, ended up reading for a small part in the movie, and I watched other actors read for the lead in the movie, and. Uh, I just, you know, this doesn't sound humble and we have to remember as actors to always try our best to be humble, but I will tell you that I thought then that I could probably do it better than the guys. They were looking at all these nice looking guys and they weren't funny and I was funny. So when the director said the, these words, he said, okay, we're done. Did everybody read everything they wanted to read? I raised my hand and and everybody stopped because we're taught you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to advocate for yourself. Sometimes it's okay, he asked a question. The answer was, no, I wanna read for the lead. And I ended up the lead in that movie. It was called Cave Girl. It's not a very good movie, but I was the lead in it. it played in movie theaters all over the country. Isn't that something? Came out to Hollywood and ended up a movie star. Who would have thought? <laughs>